say anything you want now because while well, we are recording, I'm going to trim this part trim off. So you can take your nose or you yeah, can yeah. scratch it all Make over. sure things are okay. You have dandruff. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't have hair. Why does hair. he even have dandruff at this age? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Point it a little better. That should work. I just had to divide right here because the pro. <clears throat> yeah. What's the pro? The pro and then the wannabes. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I don't want to be him. We're talking about him. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's fine. What's yeah. fine? Yeah, it works. Mm. Perfect. That's no, just fine. Yeah, if you have a nice collection, yeah. Angle that way, it's good. Yeah. yeah. To show yeah. him that I'm accepting. Of I his... really am going to include all this just because it's fun. Banter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all! <laughs> Welcome to the beer review video. With my uh, lips not working. <laughs> Hi everybody! Welcome to the latest beer review video. Tonight we're going to be drinking Ex Novo's Dripping Sun, which is a dry hopped saison. A mixed culture station. I've already talked about Saison's before. It means season. It's like my favorite beer style ever. But today I'm joined by two amazing beer experts who I've dragged kicking and screaming as payment for some web work that I accomplished by foisting off on other people. <laughs> Takes skills of all kinds. Yes, it Wait, does. Wait, you were strong armed into doing this? No. He was. Yeah. He was. <laughs> yeah. Got it. This is my brother, Ryan, and this is my sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, neither of them have ever re recorded a beer review video. I assume they both consider themselves amateurs. Um, Ryan enjoys uh, sours, mostly, but pretty much anything I bring over. Well, some of the things I bring over. Yes. <laughs> I'm not too hot on hops, and I enjoy sours. And Mary is just dabbling her... I don't like beer. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> that. Um, so, she's here for the counterpoint. Anyways, let's be start the balance. by... Yeah. I think I've had one other Ex Novo, but it's not standing out in my head. So let's just get started. Hey, it didn't blow up in my face. Does it usually? No. Mm. Oh, pro tip, if you don't have another beer glass, wine glasses work just fine. Oh, that poor had to get really one for clear. Her. Yeah, otherwise she wouldn't have drunk it. <laughs> so what I'm noticing offhand is you there's, already poured very, her too much. there's yeah. very little head. There's like almost no bubbles and it's gone really fast. That's the first thing I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. um, it's also really clear. I would mm -hmm. expect a Saison generally to be kind of hazy, they're not often filtered. This appears to be filtered, which is, that's a stylistic choice. So let's uh, give it a smell. You can also look at the leg. Does it improve? Oh, I wanna, yeah. No, Most yeah. I comparison say, to skin tone. How, how about, how about she's, nose? She's, she's a pan tone, you know. Pale. Just pan pan tone, pale. pale. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Give it a smell, stick your nose in there, and tell me what you smell. What do you recognize? The peach or apricot? Yep, definitely. It smells good. Anything else in there? It smells sour. So old, I think this will probably be sour. Fermented. <laughs> yeah. Old leaves. Old, ooh. Where are you Oh, getting? wow. <laughs> he pulled that out of his butt. <laughs> Where are you getting old leaves? <laughs> I don't <butt>. know. <laughs> you told me to just say what came to mind. <laughs> okay, legitimate tasting note. Or Somebody, smelling note. Somebody's pants are on fire. Right. <laughs> Ryan smells old leaves. Which mm. means his nose works at least 50% better than mine. But reminds, we won't talk about that. You know what? That. What? This makes, I, maybe it's part of the color and stuff. It reminds me of, remember we went to Condic Lake? We were coming up up 395. Oh. And we spent, After the, we night spent the night at the Mono Lakes? At Convict Lake. Con okay. And we went to Mono Lakes the next day. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know. There's something about uh, the trees or the color of the smell that brings that. There was a bathroom mind. at that campground. We didn't have to pee behind the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Were you as scared as I was about. Of convicts? convicts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you Are they scared? still there? <gasps> exactly. It's a beautiful, it, and we didn't it's even gorgeous. camping. We were coming back from Texas, right? 
and we got um and it was a uh, like there's cabins mm-hmm. and there's like a big old party cabin that was just huge and we got a little dinky cabin for us and there were probably yurts before there were yurts <laughs> probably <laughs> before they were a thing um i remember it's getting gorgeous. a uh popcorn in the in like the the pie tin with oh, the yeah. handle uh-huh. that you did oh. over the stove and it like expands that was the first time they i remember doing that really? was a convict the convict i place. guess i kind of remember that huh huh so this so bad. this is the whole family oh wow you would have been either an infant or not yet born this was before we moved not to san jose mm-hmm. yeah i was born in what she's young born. yeah but old enough to drink Really? Are you sure? <laughs> I checked her fake ID. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the aspen when we were coming, it was fall, mm-hmm. and the aspens were a gorgeous color. That's right. It wasn't just like fir trees up there. Mm-mm. No, I didn't see many. There weren't many fir trees. Yeah, not not there. But it was just a color, gorgeous color that kind of reminded me of this. Interesting. Okay. And the beautiful yeah. creeks. Hmm. Creeks is no, color. Way. Old Leaves and <laughs> Convict Lake. Mm-hmm. Old Leaves and Convict Lake. Let's take a drink. Yeah, that's sour. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking accordions for no reason. It smells like accordions? No, I'm thinking accordions. Like, it, you're thinking that it smells like accordion sounds? I have no idea. I, I, I told you to just say what came to your mind, and that's what came to my mind. <laughs> it tastes like seltzer water, and it's very bitter on the end. Matthew's uh-huh. mustache. Yes, definitely. I steeped it. That That's the tip to this manly look, <clears throat> is um, a Ziploc baggie taped to your face every night full of choicest beers. That's how... His wife gets him to stop snoring. <laughs> <laughs> De- yeah, definitely sour. Yeah. But not just like a one note punch sour. There's mm-hmm. there's a sour, but there's like things going on in the sour. Um, so we're getting a refresh of a like a an unripe peach. Hmm. So that mm-hmm. real like, you know, uh, sharp. Um, I never liked unripe peaches. Okay, that well, too bad. You can leave. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you did? Did? <laughs> like I said, he likes sours. <laughs> um, so so yeah, definitely like like green stone fruit or huh. or yellow, hmm. you know, a month shy of being ripe. Yeah. Um, but there's also uh, maybe some a hint of hay. Like hmm. it's 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 almost it's it's like the second flavor or the third flavor you get, or it's kind of in the background as the sour is fading. Um, this is dry hopped, which means you, you don't often see like the hops advertised in a Saison because the Saison brings its own bitterness and flavor, but hops are preservative, so they are always there. They're just not often advertised. The fact this advertises hops means there's more hops in it, so you are going to get more of that, what we call vegetal, the plants. The plant aspect, of okay. The grass, the leaves. Yeah. Um, so what do you do when you're on camera and your nose starts itching? <laughs> you just rub it. Rub it? Just rub it. Well, accidentally just rub Not it. Not the camera, the nose. <laughs> <clears throat> it happens all the time. I've just gotten past that because I'm such a star. Okay. Yeah. How many things. followers? Uh, 30. I don't know. Okay. Let's Apparently, see. it's a rare thing for your YouTube channel to have a check mark on it, and I didn't know that. But I've had like a, a YouTube channel since like the second or third year. Stop bragging. And <laughs> and someone pointed out you must be like some faker. You got you got your your account like um, special or something. I, I didn't even notice that. Sorry, I just had to do that brag. It wasn't even a humble brag. Um, so you mentioned I don't know why I said that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever, like, raked hay? Like, been on a tractor and raked hay? I did the alfalfa planting one time, or um, cutting with with Hermley way back Hermley? when. But I don't think we I've ever done... It was an raking. old white and red tractor. Probably. Hmm. Why? Are you picking up, like, the I don't hay? Know. Well, no, no, I mean, it just made me think of, you know, doing this at sunset. Oh, breaking hay at sunset and all the so dust the color is really impacting you. I know it's like the color is like 
it's a it's a nice color. Like it's not just mm-hmm. like As a uh, yellow. It's 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 urine. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yes. it, it's a really, it's a nice, it's uh, Martinelli's. Oh, it's it's yeah, Martinelli's apple cider like... yellow is what it is. Hmm. Yeah. So here's what I'm tasting. Um, I get the, there's like that, that bite right at the beginning mm-hmm. that's really strong, like yeah. the peaches, the, the unripe peaches. Um, there's that hint of something kind of grassy following that as the, as the, as the, the bite fades. Mm-hmm. And then um, there's not like, I'm not getting any wet cardboard on the finish. Instead, it's it's a kind of a fizzy... I know, weird. But once you taste it, it's like, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> it's kind of a funkiness that's left over in your mouth after some beers get swallowed, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. It, it's the price you pay for enjoying what came before, maybe. Um, other than that, <laughs> no. But this is kind of a... It's almost a numbing fizziness in uh-huh. my mouth is what mm-hmm. I'm getting. Um, yeah. Together with uh, just kind of a little bit of a funkiness. I've never really been able to describe that very well, but um, yeah, just it's it's this kind of fizzy mm-hmm. numbness almost with mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. funky. Uh, yeah, after a while, you can't really. It's somewhat yeah. The that's got a bite is. Would you say the bite is somewhat hoppy? Um. I think the hops are more evident on the back end than on the front end. The front end tastes a lot like the Saison's, a strong, sharp Saison, hmm. um, rather than a hopped up IPA or something like that. Because the flavors start, you know, the flavor is really sharp initially, mm-hmm. and it kind of, it, it, it spikes pretty quickly, and then it kind of comes down, and then after, it after it, and then it's it's just kind of a, it's a it's a unique flavor and it's a flavor, but it's kind of just a really really rounded flavor that's really hard to. There's nothing and sticking down. out for you to grab onto. Uh huh. Yeah. Say this is what it is. Wet leaves, maybe. <laughs> Going back to that. <laughs> um, like just in general, like a a pile of 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 yard clipping kind of thing. Um. It, it's it's nat- It's kind of plant matter. And that would definitely be be the hops. Uh, these are amarillo hops. Yeah, to someone like who that, that means something to you. Know you got that that after a couple of days your grass clippings mm-hmm. and you kick that you kick over you kick the pile. And yeah, you, real like no, I'm just <laughs> the fire <laughs> and the fire ants. No, we're not in Texas. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Okay, so yeah. uh, final question: Would you drink this again? No. No, I figured that was your answer. What are your... In fact, here we go. Okay, got it, okay. We will uh, take care of this. It's fine by me. Don't give it to me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm happy to drink your beer for you. No, I would agree. It's numb at the end, which Mm -hmm. is why it's good that it uh, hits that um, weird unripe fruit flavor mm-hmm. when you take it again because otherwise I don't think you'd be able to Taste enjoy anything. another sip immediately after your first one. Okay. You'd have to wait. It's a good sipper. Though yeah. I notice as it's warmed up, the flavors have mellowed, which isn't super common. It might be hmm. more some of the secondary flavors are coming more to the forefront. Um, the the sharpness will cut through the cold. Yeah. You know, like ice cream, overly flavored ice, you know, ice cream super sweet, so when you taste it it's frozen you can still taste the stuff right yeah so the sharpness cuts through the cold pretty well but all the other the secondary flavors generally are going to come more to the forefront as it warms yeah um, and so it has more of a, a, a rounded uh, flavor as those other flavors kind of come to the forefront what about you I might drink it once or twice <laughs> probably not something I go back to mm-hmm. again and again mm-hmm. but oh we got uh, pink grapefruit that night. Worthwhile. Okay. <gasps> that grapefruit. We should yeah. try that grapefruit uh, cider. Where from? I, I can't quite recall. I, I've had I think I got some. ciders before. Yeah, I'll have to. Bring it over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I picked it like grapefruit rind. That one was a sour. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it it's was a real enjoyable. fucker. Yeah. yeah. 
Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Well, well this has been... Oh, go ahead. The, the next question is we got to know if it would make a great uh, beer batter. No. Um, I suppose if you were doing uh, tempura, maybe. Okay. Um, but the flavors would not lend themselves to battering fish at all. You might drink this with a fish meal, but you're mm -hmm. not going to batter mm -hmm. your fish mm -hmm. in it. Um, generally, when you're, when you're going to beer batter... Mm -hmm. Number one, you need it a lot foamier. That's what. That's the main thing you that you're the bringing. Flakiness. The main okay. thing you're bringing is the is the aeration, the bubbles inside the batter that mm -hmm. makes it lighter. Um, and then the malty flavors of a maltier beer, uh, uh, an amber or a uh, pilsner, maybe. <laughs> so it wasn't are, a good thing that mom always used Bud Light. Uh, I mean, Bud Light's okay. <laughs> Bud Light, but uh, she, <laughs> the first one she bought was Old Milwaukee. Really? A 24 pack of Milwaukee Best or something like that. And our mother walking out of a grocery store with <laughs> old Milwaukee. 12 pack. And then yep. it sat in the basement for how many for years? Because we only years. used it every once in a while for <laughs> she beer said, better fish. It made fish not taste fa fishy. <laughs> Why is a fish? Because she didn't batter it. No, she, you know, she, she just, like, she put it in the baking dish and baked the fish. She never battered her fish. No. Dad was the only ever only one who would ever like cornbread batter. Fish. Well, remember your experience of growing up in the Bedford family. It's very different from <laughs> I left, my experience. I left ten years before you did. I know <laughs> they were they were well they were well seasoned by the time they got to parenting me. <laughs> I appreciate were, your sacrifice. They still we haven't well figured out how to season them. the food. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, mom and dad. You are the best. <laughs> you don't this need to has been. To them. You're out of their house. I know. I legit. Generally, want them not to. I, I want them to not feel bad about you know. If we're robbing someone, we, we gotta you know. We all have strengths and weaknesses. And mine is making sure everybody feels loved and appreciated. <laughs> and on that note, this has been the Dripping Sun by Ex Novo. Personally, I recommend it, especially if you like sours, um, saisons. It's kind of an interesting exploration of a saison. It's not very typical to a saison experience in my in my opinion. It's still a very tasty beer. Um, for not a blazing hot day, but like a warm day in late spring, um, or maybe an early fall day, the the vegetable notes would really work well with just the, the things going on mm -hmm. in the world in early fall. Um, that's us, and uh, we'll catch you whenever. Awesome. See ya. If you like LaCroix, you'll like this.